Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from HittingPerformanceLab.com. Today I wanted to go over a couple different exercises. This is all about core stability. Now, for those that aren't too familiar with the spine and the way our vertebrae and everything are kind of stacked up, if this were our spine with our head being up here and then legs here, arms here, our spine, look, our spine looks similar to that kind of railroad tracks. So you have these vertebrae that stack almost on top of each other, have a little bit of space in between them. And when we're looking at core stability is what we're looking at with our body. It's like, think of it like a, a, a can or a uh, steel can cage that goes around like a cylinder around the spine that protects it. Then you have the top, which is a diaphragm, and you have the bottom, which is the pelvic floor. So core stability means that <clears throat> the way we work it is we go one vertebrae at a time. So the first exercise, so let's back up a little bit. You're going to grab me on the ground here. <clears throat> the first exercise that we're going to do is very simple, and it's not intended to make get, bring your heart rate up or anything like that. the the base The basic premise of this is to get that that stable spine or build that steel cage around your rib, your 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 spine itself. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to be in a crunch position. I call this the the uh, core stabilizing crunch. So we're going to sit here, a couple, couple different things. We're going to lay the hands down by our sides. We're going to end up creeping our hands towards our feet. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our tongue, we're going to place it to the roof of our mouth. It's just like if you were to swallow something or eat something. When you swallow, your tongue automatically goes up. That does it engages the muscle underneath the tongue and helps to communicate with the shoulder girdle and the neck and keep that supported. So we're going to go tongue roof of the mouth. First move with a core stabilizing crunch is we're going to take the chin to the chest here and then we're going to go and pick up one vertebrae at a time as we crunch and creep our hands towards our feet. Just go up as high as you can, you're going to pause at the top for two seconds and then you're going to come down one vertebrae at a time. Think about it like you're trying to zip up and zip down a coat, uh, you have the, coat be, the zipper being your spine. So first move again is chin to chest, tongue to the roof of the mouth, and then you're going to go up one vertebrae at a time, creeping the hands down to your feet, and then we're going to unzip the spine, same thing, chin stays tucked to the chest until the end, okay? So that's the front side core stabilizer. What we're going to do is flip it over our belly, and we're going to do a core stabilizing locust, locust as in uh, the insect. This is a this is a, a yoga move. So we're going to do the similar thing. We're going to have to go palm down with our hands. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick our legs up, squeezing our butt, both legs at the same time. And we're going to picture that we have that zipper on the front of our chest, like our spine. And we're going to un we're going to unzip the spine, just like we did from the front. We're going to pick up one vertebrae at a time. Now we're going to pick up the legs at the same time. So then we're going to come down really slow, one vertebrae at a time, until we're down to the ground. And then back up again, just like we're trying to peel those vertebrae off the ground if they were on the front of our chest, and then back down nice and slow and controlled. Okay, so just to recap, we have the spine, comes down, looks like railroad tracks. We have these vertebrae that stack on top of each other. And we want to create a stable environment for that spine to be in. So think of it like a steel can, with the top being the diaphragm, the lid, and then the bottom being the pelvic floor, and then around the sides are the multifidus and the transversus abdominis. So just kind of more uh, of the language, the anatomical language. <clears throat> but what we're trying to do is we've got to go one vertebrae at a time, going up in the movement and going down in the movement and just do as many as your body feels once it starts feeling tired then stop but that's the the two moves was the core stabilizing crunch and then the core stabilizing locust